Hey there. Good evening. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. A show dedicated to progressive rock, hard rock, heavy metal, and other forms of rock music. So, <clears throat> this is our Monday night show. Monday night look back at a classic rock album. And the one we're going to feature today is this one. Pink Floyd's Adam Hart Mother. This was the first Pink Floyd album to not have their name on the cover or picture of the play, of, of the band members. In fact, uh, according to Wikipedia and other sources, this was to start a trend of album covers that featured no Pink Floyd signature on it and no band members. So they became somewhat anonymous. Okay, and this is their fifth studio album, 19 from 1970. You know, look at that. Five. It's it's the beginning of the 70s, and they've already got five albums on the books. Um, okay, so the vitals about. And I'm not sure where to hold this. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it down for now. The vitals on this book. Uh, this book. Sorry, on this album. It was released on October the 7th, 1970 for EMI in London it's 52 minutes long which was by this by that time period was uh, a fairly lengthy album I think uh, most bands weren't putting out anything close to this length um, the label was Harvest um, it was produced by Pink Floyd and Norman Smith he was the executive producer Okay, uh, featured on the album is your regular group of guys. Wa uh, Roger Waters on bass and vocals, David Gilmour on guitar and vocals, Richard Wright on keyboards and vocals, and uh, Nick Mason on the drums. Okay, so basically um, it's a five track album. I, I think I probably need my glasses and of course this is the second day and the sec second time in a row. I forgot to bring my glasses over and of course they're fogged up but that's okay okay so it has um, a lengthy track on side one on the disc it's disc uh, it's a uh, uh, track one uh, called Adam Hart mother features uh, a six-part father shout breast milky mother four funky dung uh, mind your throats please and remembrance uh, kind of an interesting long track um, one of the first long tracks I remember hearing uh, like chronologically um, the other tracks on the other side I'm a little more familiar with I, I like them quite a bit if which uh, is a Roger Waters vocal uh, has that classic Pink Floyd sound I think it sounds like it could be comfortably numb or welcome to the machine or any of those tracks it could be any of those like any of those and it's got that Roger Waters voice which I uh, mistakenly thought was David Gilmour for many years until recently when I uh, I started looking into the songs and realized that all the ones I thought were Gilmour were actually Roger Waters so live and learn right so uh, anyways, I like this track a lot. Very, uh, very Pink Floydish, I think. And then you have the Summer of 68. This is a song sung by Richard Wright, uh, written by Richard Wright. It may be the heaviest track on the album, and, and that's saying a lot, considering that this, that's not saying much really, actually, considering that this album is extremely mellow. In fact, the album is so mellow when I, the first couple times I listened to it, I kept saying, is this even a rock album? I wasn't even sure it was a rock album. Um, I wasn't even sure I liked it at first. It was really mellow. It just almost sounded like the, the first part, uh, Adam Hart Mother, kind of, kind of reminded me of a soundtrack for a movie, whereas the other songs just seemed like kind of whispery songs in the in the summer sun you know but it's grown on me it has really grown on me this album 
So the fourth track, Fat Old Man, uh, Fat Old Son, that's the David Gilmore track that he sings. Pretty good song. I like this one. It may be my favorite on the album. Pretty close if it isn't. But I like all the songs on side two quite a bit. Side one, I don't listen to it as I haven't listened to it as much as I as the other of the, as the second side. Even though I listen to the whole album, I don't. I, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like I listen, but I I hear, but I don't listen. But um, it's growing on me now. You know, so it may end up actually being my favorite track on the album. Not hard to say, hard to say. Anyways, the final track. Alan's Psychedelic Breakfast. Um, this is a classic Floyd sound too. Lots of background noise, lots of dish. There's little noises like dishes and coughing and all kinds of stuff that you normally get on a Floyd album. All kinds of, what do we call it? Um, um, props, I guess. Musical props, we'll call it. Anyways, really good, a really good track too. But all the songs are very mellow. Um, Summer of 68 is the least mellow of them, but it's still kind of mellow. Um, pretty cool album. I like the cover quite a bit. <laughs> and there's more cows on the back, just in case you needed to see more. The inside track of the album is a, guess what? Some more cows. And then you have little booklet which is basically the inside and the back of the front and the inside of the cover so uh, very cow oriented I'm not sure what that's all about however it's a good album it's actually the only the third Pink Floyd album that I've really have gotten to know thoroughly the first one of course was Dark Side of the Moon actually I shouldn't really say that I always say that but really the truth is that the first one I really listened to was The Wall and I never liked it I did not like The Wall I know some of you are saying how can you not like The Wall I didn't I, I still not a big fan of it there are some tracks on there I like quite a bit Run Like Hell Mother Comfortably Numb and that's about it there isn't much more other than those three uh, maybe one or two others I don't mind but for the most part I don't really like the album and it was a for me it was a bit of a setback because it put Pink Floyd back about 20 years I might have got into this stuff 20 years ago but um, I discovered uh, the next one I discovered was in around the turn of this century about 2000 2001 I discovered I was at a yard sale and found that deep um, dark side of the moon I said hey for a dollar I'll give it a try and to my surprise I liked it a lot it was and, and that could be two reasons it could be that I was older and the music resonated more with me it also could be that um, it was a very different album and I liked it a lot better I, I found the wall kind of boring and that might have like I said that might have been my youth um, I still don't really like the wall much but I love I love Dark Side of the Moon. So that was the first one I really listened to a lot. And then I was out one day buying uh, some stuff, and I I got a Jethro Tull album. And right right beside it on the rack was Animals by Floyd. I said, Hey, I'll get it. So I got it, sight unseen, songs unheard. Played it, and that summer it became my second favorite album of the summer, behind the Jethro Tull album that I bought that was beside it. So, uh, and then eventually it became my favorite Pink Floyd album and I listened to it a lot and I really like it a lot. It's one of my favorite albums. And then this summer, or last summer I should say, I started this channel and I started buying up stuff and this was one of the albums I saw out there and I started playing it and uh, like I said, the first couple times I didn't really like it but it gradually started to grow on me and now it's been on my uh it's been on my um playlist for about six months now really like it a lot great 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 album so um anyways i don't know what more else i can say about this album other than 
Uh, it's just a really good, easy listening to. It's a mellow album, really relaxes me a lot. It's one of my favorite to go to for that. But it's got a lot of really interesting sounds. In fact, every time I listen to it, I hear something I didn't hear the first time. So um, I hope you liked this video. So if you did, please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And enjoy, get this album out, play it, and enjoy it. So have a good day and have a good night. Frog Monster over.